So I made it out to the first platform. As you can see, it is pretty huge. Definitely getting some marks right at about 30 feet. So that's that's where I'm gonna that's where no I'm way. gonna keep my shrimp. Oh. Yep. No, fish on. Fish on. It's fish. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Fish O'Clock. In today's episode, I'm gonna be going offshore with my aluminum boat. Now, I don't have $100,000 to spend on an offshore boat. We're gonna be using the boat that I have. Now, as a disclaimer, I would not recommend doing this so don't go out and get yourself killed and do something stupid because you saw it on YouTube. I'm gonna try to hit one of these shipwrecks that's right on kind of the, the inner edge of that nine mile limit. Let's see, let's go out there and let's see what we catch when we go out to these wrecks. Now I'm gonna introduce you to my boat. Her name is Shashant. She's a 14 foot Lund WC14 aluminum boat. And let me tell you, don't underestimate her size. Thanks to that deep V design, she can handle big water without a problem. Now I've also geared her up with some extra safety gear. Here's a list of some of the essentials I've added. But enough of this jibber jabber, let's get going. So now I'm heading out from the Dennis Dryer Municipal Harbor. The conditions are looking pretty good today. Waves are about two to three feet. Um, there's a light breeze at five to 10 knots. 80 degree water, just perfect for some fishing. All right, just 25 minutes later, I've reached the end of the jetties and it's time to lock in the coordinates and head to the first wreck. All right, so I made it out on the first artificial reef on the TPWD website. I think, I believe it's called Bowman's Reef. Now, there is a barge that has been sunken and I'm in about 65 feet of water right here. Um, I ran my side scan, I was able to kind of see it, um, but the waves uh, going up and down really made it a little bit harder to interpret. Um, I'm not seeing any fish on the fish finder screen. Doesn't necessarily mean there's none here, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to fish that platform over there. But as you can see, I think we were about, mm, maybe six miles out right now. You can still kind of see land right there. Um, but yeah, there's a platform over there that I'm gonna try to hit. So let's go over there and see if we can uh, find some fish. All right. So I made it out to the first platform. As you can see, it is pretty huge. And I am seeing some fish on my fish finder screen, 30. So what those are, that probably could be bait right there. Ooh, it's a lot of bait. That's good, it's a good sign. So I'm gonna throw a shrimp, live shrimp down there, right about 30 feet. So I throw a live shrimp on my circle hook. I'm using a Carolina rig and a two ounce weight. And I inch that guy down to about 30 feet where I was seeing fish on my fish finder screen. So about two minutes in, I get a bite right off the bat. Grab my yep. cast king mm, reel. On. Fish and on. start pulling him in. So the fish is actually a blue runner and it's the first one I've caught. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep him into the cooler he goes. Turns out my trolling motor decided what it's I had enough of the day. So I'm going old school with the anchor, switching it up. I throw my first shrimp in at around 30 feet and just like that, another bite. Next oh, up is yeah. a solid Spanish mackerel, a nice one into the cooler he goes. Now for the next couple hours, it's a mixed bag, heart heads, gaff tops, ribbon, ribbon fish. fish. Yeah. So I ended up cutting up that ribbon fish and using that as bait. I dropped that ribbon down to the bottom oh, and that's when bag. things get crazy. Oh. Something big takes the bait. I grab my rod and this beast is putting up a fight. My reel's barely holding together and after a solid 15 minute battle, finally see it, it's a hammerhead shark. 
Now he's only about four feet long, but he did put up a quite a big fight. Definitely not too happy to see me. I managed to net him. And as I'm taking the hook out of his mouth and trying to get a measurement on him, he's trying to take a bite out of me. So I went ahead and just let him go. Oh my God, he's trying to bite me. Oh, get out of here. So now it's around 2 or 3 p.m. I'm beat. It's time to head back to port. What a day. So here's the haul for today. Blue Runner, Spanish Mackerel, Surprise Hammerhead. And the bait of choice was shrimp and ribbon fish. Nothing like wrapping up a day of fishing by enjoying the waves on the beach. All right, so that about wraps up this video. If you guys liked it, please remember to hit that like button below. If you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And last but not least, what do you guys think about this? Was this safe? Is taking a small boat like this out to the rigs, like seven, eight miles offshore, is that even safe? Should I be doing this? Or am I gonna get myself killed one day? Throw your comment below. Thanks again for watching, you guys take care.